Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the area of a circle. And remember, area is the amount of space a two-dimensional or flat shape takes up. Our formula that we are going to use is at the top of your screen. The area of a circle equals pi r squared. Now that symbol in there is the symbol for pi. And pi is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. And it's the same for every circle. Now I'm not going to get into too much further detail about pi. If you want to learn more about it, there's great websites and information out there on the internet or even YouTube um, about pi. Now, as you're solving these, there should be a pi button on your calculator that you can use since it's the same, again, it's the same number for every circle, or you can use a rounded, shortened version of three and 14 hundredths. Now, pi is a very long decimal, so it's pretty common to use the rounded version. So as you can see, there are four examples on your screen, four circles on your screen that we're going to go through and find the area of those circles. So let's jump right in to number one. We have a circle with a radius of three inches and we want to find the area. So the first thing we want to do is write out our formula. So area equals pi times radius squared. Then we want to plug in our radius. So area equals pi times the radius of three inches squared. Then we would plug this into a calculator and like I mentioned earlier you would hit the pi button or you can use the rounded shortened version of three and fourteen hundredths that is in the top right of your screen. So once that is calculated, it's going to come out as a pretty long decimal, so I'm going to round to the hundredths place. So we would have 28 and 27 hundredths square inches. And you always square your unit for uh, area because it takes one by one inch squares, it would take 28.27 of them to cover or fill that space for that circle. So if at this point you feel confident enough to try some on your own, or if at any point during this video, feel free to go ahead of me and then check your answers with mine uh, once I catch up to you. Or if you'd like to work through all four with me, that's fine too. So let's try number two. It's always good habit to write your formula out first when, whenever you're using one, whether it's area or a different type of problem. So we have area equals pi times radius squared. So let's plug in. So we have our pi. Now this problem, they give us the diameter. So we only want half the diameter we want the radius, which would be two centimeters. So we plug in two for the radius and squared. Once we plug in and calculate, we would get an answer of 12 and 57 hundredths centimeters squared. I forgot to circle my answer for number one, so I'm going to go back and circle that. All right, let's go to number three. So we start with writing out our formula. Area equals pi times radius squared. So let's put in our, plug in our radius, which would be half the diameter. So four feet, so a four here, squared. So once we plug that in, we would get 50 and 27 
uh, hundredths centimeters squared. And again, for numbers two and three, just like number one, our decimal is going to be a fairly long decimal there, so we're rounding to the hundredths place. So for number four here, we're, we are given a radius of 10 inches, so we do not need to take half of that because again, that is the radius. You only take half when you have the diameter. You divide that by two in order to get the radius. So let's start by writing out our formula of area equals pi r squared. Then we'll plug in, so our radius of 10 inches. So pi times 10 squared. And we get an answer of 314 and 16 hundredths. Now again, that's rounded to the hundredths place because we got a fairly long decimal there. So we rounded to the hundredths and our unit is inches. And whenever we do area, remember it's square units. So 314 and 16 hundredths square inches. So there you have it. There's how you calculate the area of a circle. Hopefully that was helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.